If you have watched any of my videos, you know that we primarily cover the North Metro Atlanta area. Well, today we are heading south to one of South Atlanta's most popular cities. Let's go. Hi, I'm Sarah Mislawski with Key Point Homes Group, a local real estate agent right here serving the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, and I help clients from all over the country relocate right here to Georgia. Like you just saw, I was sporting a unique ride, and that is one of the most common forms of transportation in Peachtree City. The town was a planned community back in the 1950s when it was developed, and it was one of the first of its kind. In the 1950s, a group of real estate developers amassed thousands of acres in Fayette County to build this planned community. The city was developed into villages, each with its own shopping areas, recreational facilities, and elementary schools. They also planned miles of multi-use paths, connecting residential areas to the commercial districts, schools, and pretty much everything the town would offer. The town now has over 100 miles of paths that people predominantly drive around on golf carts to get anywhere and everywhere you need to go. So what is it like living here in Peachtree City and what do you need to know about this unique town? All of that early planning is responsible for this thoughtfully designed town. There are five total villages in Peachtree City. You've got Aberdeen, Braylon, Glenlock, Kidron and Wilkesmore, and each village has its own elementary school, shopping center, and recreational area. The goal of these villages was to create a tight-knit communities that you never had to leave, and they planned all of these paths so you could access all of the things that you would need without having to even get in your car. Now, of course, I had to do as the locals do and headed over to Big O's Golf Cart Rentals for the day to experience this part of town for myself. Because of the over 100 miles of golf cart paths, you can get anywhere you need to on a golf cart. There are tunnels and bridges under and over all of the major roads, so you can tool right along without having to drive on any busy roads. There are special front row parking spots at many retailers and restaurants, and kids even take the golf carts to school. Golf carts can be driven on the actual road if the speed limit is 30 or lower, and they even have their own navigation app that was designed specifically for golf cart trails here in Peachtree City. Once a child is 12 years old, they can drive the golf cart if they have a parent with them, and then once they turn 15 and get their learner's permit, they can drive alone. Gosh, I wish I lived here when I was 15. This means from the time they are a freshman or sophomore in high school, they can take themselves to school in a much safer fashion than driving a car. Or they can run to the grocery store and pick up that one item you forgot while you're cooking dinner. That's really convenient, right? The cool thing about these cart paths is that they are everywhere. They connect right into the neighborhoods and will take you all over town. There are some houses that back right up or are next to the paths, and we saw so many carts that had car seats on the back of them. It's such a clever and handy mode of transportation, and the area definitely caters to it. I often hear from people who want to live in a town that has public transportation or everything is within walking distance. And though golf carts are not technically public transportation, this is one of the only areas that caters to not having a car. These paths are not just for golf carts, but they're also used for walking paths, running, and biking paths as well. Another huge part of the charming town is all of the natural beauty and lush trees. There are three lakes in Peachtree City and a lot of parks and playgrounds, which they refer to as tot lots, disc golf courses, and a lot of other ways to spend time outside. I went on a beautiful day a few weeks ago and the playgrounds were covered up with parents and young kids who were enjoying the gorgeous weather. And I also took a drive around Peachtree Lake and there were people lying by the water, reading books, having picnics, families going for a walk together. And I have to tell you, it felt like something out of a storybook. Okay, this definitely is a storybook magical town. It just feels like everywhere you look, there are people out enjoying nature, just really, really taking great use of the weather, outdoor space, and everything that you would want a town. Peachtree City has it. This was one of my favorite parts about visiting the town. There are also three golf courses here in Peachtree City, which is just another way to enjoy being outside. I mentioned earlier that there were three lakes here. You've got Lake Peachtree, Lake Kidron, and Lake McIntosh. Now, these are smaller lakes, so you can't drive a gas-powered boat on any of them, but you can go out on small electric boats and kayaks or paddle boards. The town is very green and full of trees. The golf cart paths are surrounded by trees and beautiful nature, plus you've got all the beautiful lakes. It's just a very 
peaceful and beautiful place. Drake Field that you'll see here is home to what is called Night Market, which is, you guessed it, a market at night. They bring in food trucks and entertainment, and it's a community gathering taking place several times a year. Something else Petrie City is known for is its attempt to keep a tight-knit community with events and things like this to build that sense of community. So as you can imagine, being from out of state, relocating here, this is a perfect ideal setting for you to get to know your neighbors. Another thing that I love about the area is all of the amazing shops and restaurants from locally owned boutiques and national chains. And then there are more than 100 restaurants in this town. They have some amazing locally owned restaurants. So you have plenty of great options. I grabbed a donut from Heirloom Donuts and I kid you not, it was one of the best donuts I've ever had in my life. The Avenue is an outdoor shopping center with over 50 different stores, including including heirloom donuts where I got my life-changing maple and bacon donut. This is so good. There are all sorts of cool stores that you would typically usually see in an upscale mall like Lululemon, White House Black Market, J. Crew, Sephora, a yummy little Italian spot called Postalina Pizza, Ted's Montana Grill, and the list goes on. Peachtree City also has a Target like all good towns, and there is no shortage of good shopping in the area. So what about houses? There have only been a handful of new neighborhoods built in Peachtree City in the last decade. So if that is a top priority for you, it's definitely going to be harder to come by here. One of those neighborhoods is Crestwind Peachtree City, which started building around 2015, 2016, and it kind of finished around 2020. Now, Crestwind communities have a cult following. This is an active adult 55 plus community, and this one is no different. Many times when clients travel into state to check out 55 plus communities in the North Metro Atlanta area, they will also check out Crestwind Peachtree City while they're there. There's actually a new Crestwind community coming to town right around the corner in Noonan, and I just made a whole video about that community, so make sure you check it out. Aside from those few neighborhoods, you are going to find a lot of older homes built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and so a lot of architecture that you will not find much of here farther north since it was so specific to those time periods. There are some cute mid-century style homes and, of course, some that look like the rest of North Metro Atlanta area that were built in the 90s and 2000s. When we were driving around on the golf cart in Peachtree City, a lot of the houses here reminded me of smaller towns in South Georgia in terms of the architecture of, and style of homes. Now, just because Peachtree City is on the south side of Atlanta, that does not mean that homes here come cheap. You are going to pay a premium to be in this uniquely designed community, and there's not a whole lot of inventory here. In February of 2024, the average sales price was $718,000. Now, this is a steep hike from January's average sales price, which was $533,000. That's a $85,000 difference, which makes it a little difficult to get a good feel for the average sales price. But things typically hover between 500 and 600,000 price point. The reason there is such a large difference here is because there's such a low amount of inventory and a wide range of home prices, which makes the average sales price a little all over the place. Along with the convenience of the town, another thing that you are paying for is the great school system. Like I touched on earlier, each village has its own elementary school, which is very convenient. And there are two very highly rated high schools. You've got Stars Mill High School and McIntosh high school and both have a nine rating on greatschools.org, which is amazing and obviously highly sought after. Another unique thing about Peachtree City that you don't find too often is that there is a complex that has People's Elementary School, Rising Star Middle School, and Stars Mill High School all right next to each other in the same area. The school pickup line is full of parents on golf carts and the high school parking lots were full of golf carts as well since the students drive themselves to school. So what are the downfalls to this unique town? Being on the south side of Atlanta as opposed to the north metro suburbs isn't always so favorable. Just because there's not nearly as many other well-developed suburbs on the south like there are on the north side, but because the town is only 30 miles south of the city, this is a great spot for people who work in the city but want to live in a suburb. The huge plus of being on the south end means you are very close to the airport and Peachtree City is only about 23 miles away, making this a very easy commute. Well, as easy as commute as the world's busiest airport can be. I would say that another downside to Peachtree City is the fact that it is on the south side and you're not as close to many other suburbs that you would see in the North Metro Atlanta area. So when it comes for things like shopping outside of some of your big box stores and uh, Target, you are going to have to drive quite a distance to get to a big 
mall. You're also having to drive quite a distance to experience anything outside of what's offered in Peachtree City or Noonan. Here in North Metro Atlanta area, you can go and visit all kinds of different festivals that are happening in town to town. You're also right there uh, at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. You can take advantage of all the great things that are in Atlanta, which you can do in Peachtree City as well. It's just you have more at your fingertips. So if you are looking for a small town, that gives you tons of charm, but it's important for you to be close to the airport and you still wanna feel kind of small, Peachtree City might just be for you. So let me know in the comments if you are considering making a move to Peachtree City. And if you're thinking of moving anywhere here in Georgia, I want to be your real estate agent. My contact information is in the pinned comment below. If you're thinking about relocating, make sure you check out this great video next.